Alright, today I got no heat. Gotta get this thing up and running pretty quick. signal here. Switches are on on the wall. They're going to have a viewing downstairs really quickly. So. Transformer comes up, boom, through, up. Four. Somewhere I have a safety open. Three. One. Twenty-seven. Seven, twenty-seven, twenty-seven. A signal to here somewhere before here is off and before that I would even put my inducer to start I forgot the charges thing.
have no control power upstairs. So. Just verifying where they're coming from the condenser. The transformer on that air handler isn't powering my control circuit. I'm on one bar. It took how long to get there? short tripped fuse reset problem is going to be it's going to turn on inside so we go inside real fast Fire is back on. Now I gotta figure out what shorted 24 volt circuit. They at least have heat now for the funeral. Traced all my power out to one of these wires going up. And that's how I figured out that it wasn't here that was shut me off. Quickly. Shut the gas off. filters that way. Too bad, usually these things, if they're six months old, broken and cracked.
made me look outside. Was that I had no power on my R. I had power of my transformer. This wasn't, this is a safety, this didn't break me. This is my heat coming here. I mean, I didn't have a light here and I didn't have power coming here. Now my controls are all energized. Of course, now I gotta figure out why that blue. funeral so they're nice and comfortable and I got other units here to do maintenance on well, I'm the HVAC hacker until next time and hey check me out on Facebook I just pop photos up on occasion different things I made to make videos of. I'm on many jobs all day long. And many of them don't become videos. Putting this on upside down. Well, today was a tough one. I mean, it was an interesting adventure all day long. I had a maintenance and a funeral home. I had five heating units to work on. Then as I'm about to get there, I'm told that well, the big air handler for the viewing room, and they're having a funeral in one hour, was down. So, okay, so I went up there, started tracing some things out took some things apart, put them back together, found that the transformer and the condenser was tripped. Okay, so I reset the transformer and the condenser. Okay, so it's running for a while. We continue on our maintenance. We find some holes in a flue pipe. So the guy I'm working with runs out to the shop. He runs to our install department, picks up some flue pipe, he comes back. We swap out the flue pipe, we finish up the rest of the units, then we come back to the first unit. Still not on. Room is 66 degrees. All right. So I get a separate SO made up for this one now. Now I start attacking this. We're tracing it out. We have every wire apart. It's isolated to the G wire. The G-Wire is making the short every time we bring power up the G-Wire to its terminal board. What do you know? We're looking everywhere. We're, we're about to replace the G-Wire. And then what do I see? It's like heaven. I find this little friggin' piece of metal shard. This little friggin' metal shard was causing all of that. And from somebody zipping a screw into the panel, removing the door probably. I don't know who that guy could be, but probably, I don't know who did it. But I mean, whoever did the maintenance last time uh, when he uh, made new 3-8 uh, holes in that machine, that guy probably was the one that did it. I don't know who it was, but I mean, what can I say? This asshole, wherever he is, he did it. But no, that was me. But uh, 
So, I mean, I don't know how it went from before the summer. I think I did the AC maintenance here in maybe April. I think it was like April when I did the AC maintenance there. I don't know how it went from April to now without any problems. Now, all of a sudden, it worked fine. They haven't used the room they said in two weeks. So, two weeks ago, when they needed the heat, it worked fine. Now, hey, I feel bad. I really didn't record much of this. I do. I mean, I probably should be doing this live, this little talk right now, so I can fill you guys in. I'm not sure what route to go about with this video. Because I only filmed the very beginning. That's it. I didn't film much more. I have a picture of when I found the short, but well, nothing else. I have a picture of the hole in the flue pipe. Didn't do anything about the work I did about replacing it. You know what I mean? It's, there's so many things we do all day long. I might do 10 jobs and only one of them I put a video out usually. What can I say? Not everything do I feel like recording myself on. There's sometimes I'm just, I just have to work. And that's why I didn't record this one. I didn't have the time to waste. I had one hour to try to find the short. Yes, I had the unit to work within that hour. I got it on, but it didn't stay on forever. But you know what? I didn't leave the building because I still had the other work. And I knew I was going to probably go back and check on it. I thought it was the contactor that was causing the problem because... When I turned it on, I turned on the heat, it came right on, it worked. I didn't do anything to change that sh piece of metal from making contact from the terminal block to the metal casing of the unit. I didn't, but things happen. They do, and that's life. And that is what experience is. It's not the successful jobs. It's the ones that you gotta work on. I think every single short somebody works on and works through and finds and fixes makes them a better mechanic. Happens to us all the time, these shorts. Anybody that says you got to get them done in 15 minutes, I hate to say it, they can't do it in 15 minutes. They wish they could find everything in 15 minutes because you know what? You can't even go from the attic where the unit is, where this air handler is, to the condenser in five. So how are you isolating everything and having it done in 15? Tell me, I wanna know. How do you do it if it takes 10 minutes just to walk from one in and out? That's 10 minutes right there. And you haven't even opened your tools yet. You didn't even know what you were looking at yet, so how in 15 minutes do you have it all troubleshot? Please tell me. I wanna know, I did. But it was fun, it was a great adventure, and well, who knows what tomorrow will bring. Because this was only supposed to be a maintenance. That's all. So anybody that's upset, me, oh, I gotta do another maintenance. Oh, I gotta do another maintenance. Dude, do the maintenance, whatever. It's something to do. I mean, right now it's that dead time of year. So do the maintenance, get it done. And you know what? You'll probably find anything. You'll probably find something. I said anything, I'm a retard half the time, but it's not about just okay i'm on a maintenance i'm gonna pretend i'm doing work i'm gonna hide here and i'm not gonna do anything keep yourself busy you may find something you may not i mean i'm not out there looking to destroy units i'm not out there looking to condemn parts i'm not out there trying to make more work for myself i do not want more work for myself i'm already busy this is great it's 4 40 i'm going home i only have a half hour of overtime today why not why not? I mean, I don't want friggin' get home at six, seven o'clock every day. There's, oh, how could you not want overtime? Not that I don't want overtime. I just don't want to be working all the time. I want to be doing some things for myself for once, you know? I want to go fix my mom's boiler sometime. I want to do something fun. I want to work on my car. I want to do, there's so many I want this, but there's no time. There's no time. Guys, you go, oh, I have all the time in the world. Wow, that guy's putting 410A into a... Yeah, that guy doesn't know. 
I just saw a guy putting 410A into a pickup truck. No racks, no nothing. I probably has no idea what he's doing. Hey, he's putting it in his truck. Why not? All right. Oh. I had to make sure I got across traffic and everything. I didn't want to get hit as I was crossing a pretty busy intersection. Till next time, I'm out. Who knows what tomorrow brings.